Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to counter the best brawlers in the game. So the top 10 brawlers in my last tier list, we're going to be learning how to counter them. So it's very important, especially if you're playing Power League, because you're going to be facing off against these brawlers quite a fair a bit. So before we jump into things then, make sure you're using a credit code, that'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so jumping into the 10th best brawler in the game, we have Gene and the ways to counter him then. So the first one is going to be by Mr. P. So as a Gene main for literal years, Mr. P is the brawler which I pretty much hate the most because you have his porters, which of course will waste a lot of ammo. Gene doesn't have the fastest reload speed, so wasting any ammo when you're playing Gene is really bad you want to be making sure you conserve it as much as possible and then of course you're trying to pull someone let's pull this in a way it's just really annoying this is by far the biggest counter to gene next one is going to be sam so a lot of tanks can be hard for gene to deal with because of course he doesn't have the biggest amount of dps normally you want to be pulling someone uh close to you and a teammate if it's like a tank or a high hp brawler but sam is really annoying for gene to deal with because he will constantly be healing and constantly being super aggressive and gene just hates that so sam is a fantastic counter in my personal opinion and then lastly we have janet so a little bit of a weird one but janet is just a really annoying brawler for me to face off against a lot of the time when i'm playing gene because not only does she have her gadget which she can tank gene's pull she's also got a super that can fly away and then also you've even got the other gadget which can jump away from the jump. I just think Janet can be really annoying for Jean, especially considering there's a lot of her in the meta. So next up, as the ninth best brawler in the game, I went with Ash and the ways to counter him then. So the first one is going to be Surge. So this one is a little bit of a controversial one when talking to the pros. A lot of people think like Ash counters Surge. Some people think that Surge counters Ash. So it can depend on how good of an Ash or a Surge you are. But I think more often than not, Surge should be able to come off the top you just got to make sure that you're not feeding ash the super but as well as long as you're like preserving the gadget and getting really good use out of it you know mostly when i play surge against ash i win so i think that is a very good matchup in my opinion and then you have rosa so especially when you're playing on a bushy map sneaker fields for example i've seen rosa just absolutely delete an ash every single time it's like impossible for ash to deal with rosa once she gets her first super and especially if you use fourney gloves you're just going to absolutely shred through that ash and then lastly we have primo so the main reason why primo was getting even better in the meta is because he countered really popular tanks like sam and ash so for me primo just beats ash so easily so next up as the eighth best brawler i went with crow and his best counters are going to be first and foremost spike so spike has been a brawler i've always recommended going if you see a crow he's got his gadget just to tank crow's main attack and of course crow is a really speedy brawler so the curveball is really going to help you out in that uh, department and hitting more shots against crow and i just think it's a really good matchup down the lane next i went with mandy so this is typically sharpshooters like i know once crow gets super he can delete some sharpshooters but i think personally mandy can two tap a crow unless he uses the shield gear uh, but more often than not people use the speed gear and the mythic gear with crow so mandy can two tap a crow which is essential and then of course you've got the super that can more often not just one tap a crow as well and then i went with a piper as well so normally brawlers that can two tap a crow like i know he's pretty speedy but he is super squishy so high damage brawlers can counter him more often than not so next up as the seventh best brawler in the game i went with otis so the best ways to counter otis then normally it's by some more typically uh longer ranged brawlers but you know that is just generic literally every brawler can be countered if they're out range the first one is going to be spike again so just like crow i think spike's a really good counter to otis because you can get some really good damage against him and you've also got the gadget otis hates it but otis players will hate it when they've got something that can tank his super because it's just really hard to uh you know just delete them like a lot of times with otis you want to be just walking up to brawlers muting them and just deleting them but you can't do that with brawlers that can literally tank that mute so spike is a fantastic option for that the next one is going to be penny so just like spike you've got that salty barrel and just more often than not you're in a pretty similar range to otis and you can just out dps him a little bit easier down the lane and you can also out uh, wall peek him quite easy with a penny and then lastly i went for this stew so the main reason why is because whenever i play off against Stu, when i'm otis i just really struggle hitting the mute and of course if he's just dashing around constantly a good Stu player can just absolutely wreck otis so next up as a sixth best brawler in the game i went with a janet and the best ways to counter her then so janet is a brawler which is pretty much good against everything so 
again, people just ask this question all the time. Why is Janet so good? It's because she has so few hard counters. Of course, the main one is going to be any high, uh, like high HP brawler, which is really tanky because, of course, she doesn't have the most DPS. But still, she can just trickle them down quite easily at range. But anyways, the best counter, in my opinion, is probably going to be the likes of either Daryl, Carl, or Bonnie. So Bonnie's going to be a good counter to her fellow uh, sister just because uh, you've got just a lot of tanky about bonnie it's going to take a long time for janet to take you down and then if you pop a gadget with bonnie or even use super on top of janet it should be pretty easy to burst that down pretty quickly next i went with daryl main reason being is because you've got that shield when you roll in it's just going to take janet too long to take you down same with carl if you get that protective pirouette going there's just no way that janet can take you down so next up as the fifth best brawler in the game right now i went with penny so penny is a brawler that's been on this ranking for a long time so you should know how to counter penny by now and slowly people are figuring out in power league from what i've watched in competitive you know of course a lot of people just tend to outrange her again that's the common theme with this just pick brawlers that outrange penny and don't feed back turret but the first one is going to be squeak of course you can shoot behind walls you can destroy the turret behind a wall with squeak quite safely and you will outrange her pretty easily a lot of the time so of course not feeding her that turret is essential next i went with carl so carl is a really good one you can shoot through her gadget with your pickaxe not only that just the only way she can really delete you is if she actually switches star power to then get that knockback against your super but still i think more often than not you will have the better matchup for sure and then the last one i went with is janet so janet again can just keep at that similar distance she can shoot for the gadget so of course penny can't get any value right there and i just think more often than not i do like that matchup for sure so next up as the fourth best brawler in the game i went with max and the best way to counter max then so again another brawler that has just been dominating the meta so you should be wary of the best counters but max is just really strong against everything i think the only brawler that just absolutely hard counters max is crow because of that crippling slow it's just so easy to get a lot of value against a max player when you're playing crow but everyone knows this so it's just not any new news for you uh, the next one is going to be Stu. so again Stu is a really good brawler against max because you'll be able to out damage max a lot of the time and just wiggle around max and of course that's just what you hate as a max player you want someone that's just standing still so you can just burst them down really quickly and then finally i went for a little bit of a weirder one so i went with gus so the main reason why i think gus is a good matchup against max is because typical kind of long range brawlers you know find it really hard to deal with max but gus has a really big hitbox with his main attack so i just think it's really easy to hit max when i play gus so i actually really like that matchup so that's a really underrated counter so next up as the third best brawler in the game i went with b so again another brawler that's just been dominating you should be wary of a lot of counters to b but she's just really good against everything so first off i've gone with rt so rt a pretty brand new brawler in the game RT destroys B in a 1v1 because you've got a really fast projectile. I know it's thin and pretty hard to hit, but if you're really accurate with your shots, you're going to destroy a B. And you literally just need two shots and a gadget, and you can kill a B every single time. So RT completely wrecks B in a 1v1. Next up, I have gone up for Sprout. So again, it's pretty generic. Everyone knows that throws counter B because she's pretty squishy, but still, you know, Sprout, Grom even tick etc can counter b pretty well because they can keep a good distance between b and just kill her in like two or three shots and then lastly i went for mr p so just like gene you know b hates it when she's having to waste a lot of shots on those porters you know she's pretty squishy as well so mr p can deal with her in that sense i, I just think that's a really good matchup so next up as his second best brawler in the game right now i've gone with rt so the best ways to counter rt then normally it's just by good jukes because his projectile is really thin sometimes pretty hard to hit but in terms of brawlers and the first one i went with penny so penny can be a good counter to rt because you've got that splash damage so if rt splits off if timed correctly penny can get some juicy splash damage and kill the legs of rt so i just think that's a pretty annoying matchup for rt and you've also got the salty barrel to tank any of his shots so then he can't finish you off with a gadget so i just think that's a pretty annoying matchup for rt I and mean, then of course you've got the penny turret but which can lock onto rt's legs so just pretty annoying for him uh, next i went with max so again the kind of key theme to countering rt is uh by duking his main attack you know if he's a really inaccurate player uh you know brother like max is just going to take advantage of that poor aim so easily you've got the super if you've got the wiggles as well max should just be able to run all over an rt and then finally i went with colette so this is more kind of like a softer counter because 
you shouldn't be able to win that matchup every single time but i think more often than not it's actually a pretty decent matchup Alti has a lot of hp so collect can counter him in that sense okay guys so jumping into the best brawler in the game and the best counters i went with meg so the best counters to meg first and foremost is going to be Colette. so the main reason why Colette is starting to become a lot of a stronger brawler in the meta is because she counters meg who is so strong and even when meg used to be pretty op literally back when i competed in the world finals like i knew that Colette was the best counter because it was shown on like backyard bowl for example and it just deletes meg because she has a lot of hp and then of course you've got Colette super and it's just really hard for meg to take down Colette with that gotcha gadget and then you've got ego so this is specifically in showdown though i've not really seen it happen too much in 3v3 modes but ego just completely wrecks meg in that mech form there's nothing she can do ego just tears through her every single time so if you look into counter those annoying meg teamers in showdown just go ego you'll win pretty easily and then finally i went with b a little bit of a boring one because b is meta but b can just keep the distance between meg you can slow meg and then you can finally start to pinch her down pretty quickly but yeah b just shreds a lot of high hp brawlers all right guys it's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one let me know whether i missed out any counters but i think generically that should be it in terms of countering the best brawlers of course they're the best for a reason they don't have too many counters that's why they're so good so that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.